Okay, so I've made some improvements off camera. The first thing is I decided to separate off the wings and that allowed me to solve the problem that we were having here. So now that's a lot smoother, but the wing parts are now separate so I can no longer easily change the shape of them. I also don't have the, the whatchamacallit, little additional part that I had there. Instead I just morphed the body shape in order to create the windows and I separated off the windows. So they're looking like that now. Let me just apply skill to everything before we do anything else. The sort of idea behind this is that, I mean, if we think about like a dragon capsule and the first stage of dragon, of, of uh, not the first stage, the second stage of Falcon 9, basically this top bit is like the, the actual capsule and maybe trunk-like payloads down here. And then this is actually a board section that's been removed from the Dragon Capsule, so it's effectively there. And this is like the second stage of Falcon 9, uh, except now it's methane and oxygen, which gives us the efficiency to carry wings and also the heat tiles. And then instead of dumping the second stage, we're reusing it, we're refueling it so that this can get over to the moon and then reusing, reusing the whole thing. Okay, we're going to have a cube Let's just nab all these, yank them further out. I think I should have applied stuff first. That didn't turn out quite the way I wanted. Mm, that little shade smooth that too. So let's mirror. Okay, so as a solution to our downward-facing RCS port problem, I've decided to go with the umbilical method of, uh, of solving that. So we're going to have umbilical doors, and eventually it's going to have to mate with the other thing anyway. So we're going to have this section have an animated, retractable, umbilical thingamajig. But also, those doors will be open until the plane has to re-enter because otherwise it's downward R RCS won't work. So while it's docking, it's going to have downward RCS inside an umbilical door. So this, this one will actually be down, straight down. We'll have it closer to the center line though, but we probably still want it outboard so that we have space for the tanks in the center. So I'm setting the origin of these to be where I want the hinge for the door to be. I just want the 3D cursor to be moved to the opposite side. And then the same thing over here. Okay, then the doors should each be solidified, so we just add a solidify modifier. So now they're going to be solid doors.
door right, door left, I think I'd like this on that side of the line. What has happened here? Hmm. Great. This is what I don't want to see. Okay, you guys, I want to... What what happened? Well, there seems to be two points there. All right, let's try him. We'll end up having a decoupler plus a uh, abort motor in the same stage. I don't think I want that. So maybe... Hmm. Maybe I'll we'll be putting making the decoupler portion of the umbilical a separate part. Hmm. Well, we have a problem, right? We, we're we're going to have uh, something that attaches the two planes together. Maybe we should just have it be complete, a, 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 just a separate thing that drops off. I don't think it's possible to... We, would, we don't want to be carrying it around anyway. So we'll have something that connects to a separate decoupler here. I think is the idea. Yeah. So yeah, this this bit is going to be part of the decoupler, not part of the plane. That bit's going to be part of the plane, not part of the decoupler. I wonder if I'm going to have to put additional vertical stabilizers on this again. And we will proceed with trying to clean up the leading edge of the wing, I think. Okay, not that many. I don't want it to get too close to the top one there. Okay. This one just needs another cut here to match that. And I'll just symmetrize that afterwards.
I think I'll just accept that amount of edginess. Okay, I'm going to continue with the decoupler mounting. Anyway, we'll have pipes going through, because of course that has to be a thing. I think we'll just have cylinders, simple. We need two bits to the pipe. One bit that stays with the ship, and one bit that does not. I don't want too much detail on what's essentially just gonna drop away very quickly. And be, you know, sandwiched between two planes. Okay, let's focus on here where we're going to need some thrusters and some tanks. Oh, well, I'll fit in. So, mirror... Right, so now the ratio for meth methane and oxygen is that the volume for the oxygen is 0.85 or, no sorry, 0.58 and then the methane is 0.42 or so. So anyway, let's see, what is the volume of this bit? 4.83. These guys, 2.87. So these guys need to be a little bit bigger. Okay, um, 3.5 ish is what we want for this. 8.3 all together. And that's about the right ratio, so that's okay. So, the actual engines. I'm going to try to import the CST100 thrusters and then turn them into Mephalox ones. After all, they are abort thrusters. Then again, they're tilted. But anyway, I'll get the right size that way. No, let's just continue to use that as a reference. Okay, so we're gonna... Get the chamber there. Roughly speaking. So, if we want vents, we can't have them right at the tank. Um, we'll want them out there. 
so we'll keep these pretty far out. Which is fine, we already put the fuel tanks closer in. Uh, we need to name some more of this stuff. Abort motors. And make sure they're in the right section. Abort ox tanks. Abort CH4 tanks. The thing is, we need these high enough so that they're kind of cover the center of mass. We don't want them too low. And that's the cutout for the board section. But we should have that cube be smoothed. So that the cutout is smooth. I, before I duplicated the abort mortars, I should have finalized them a little bit more. Let me get rid of those and work on this a little bit more here. Didn't even smooth them yet. I could just solidify, but this is fewer polygons anyway, and we don't need those polygons at all. Uh, maybe a little bit of extrusion on the back end for fun. Okay, that'll be fine. Great, from this angle we can't see anything unless we do transparency. The problem is, uh, part of the Bat Blaster probably needs to go through the wing. Well, no, maybe we can avoid that. Uh, it is really tight though. Maybe we can move them all just a smidge inward. Maybe we should just use this same cube for the cutout of... I think we can just make a straight duct inside this. It's going to cut this part. I don't think I need extra polygons, do I? Oh, so I don't really want this edge where it comes out to be icky. But we can do that after we cut it out. We've got the thrust from these abort engines. And we don't want them to have a hard start, so we want to deflect them. The question is... How... How well can I deflect the thrust of these out so that, you know, they don't have a problem? Uh, of course, it's going to separate anyway, but we just want it to not hit a wall. How much ducting do I need for this? We don't care about what happens in this section, right? Uh, they the, the problem is... We don't want the engines to be damaged. That's the only thing. Okay, what I want is these parts plus the tank, and that's it. Let me see what it looks like. Well, maybe we should just modify the tank just a little bit. We'll put a blowout door on it. 
it looks pretty convincing. I mean, look at those and you can see those engines pretty clearly right there. The duct doesn't need to hold, right? It's actually better if the duct rips apart. <laughs> In this case. So they gotta push that stuff away from this stuff. Also, presumably, the other space plane. So we'll obviously need parachutes on that bit. Unless I'm... No, we're obviously gonna need parachutes on that bit. Well, I won't finalize that just yet, but we, we want a door on it, but... I mean, a blowout thing, a cover. But uh, we don't need to do that yet, so we're, we're gonna leave it a gap for now. Um, what mayhem should I wreak upon this next? I guess uh, we should do the rear RCS ports. Hmm. Oh, well, let me put the helium tanks into the board section. I think we should shove these a little bit closer in and put a section in here for the RCS. It's probably enough room. We definitely want more angle than that. But we don't want to torch the control surface. With that one being straight down and this one being tilted, I'm a little bit worried about that. Maybe I should just have both of them tilted so that's better balanced. Just seeing at, you know, how bad it would be for the body flap. I think that's okay. But let's um, fix some curves, shall we? Might as well. We could probably just straighten this one out and put it further back. Okay, so those are the RCS mounts. I mean, RCS locations. Only the carrier plane will have all four engines. Okay, well, now planning the interior of this. So, cargo bay. We want to probably straighten these lines out a little bit. Fine, you know what? We're going to go... Let's say that's enough space for our payload bay. Hmm... Might even... Be better if it's less... Ignore the tank, that's only for the carrier plane, right? We're dealing with the interior of the space plane. Probably we want a bigger door than that. So... Ah. So this line needs to be straight, too, at least. Maybe even this one. Well, that's probably a better door. Okay, we want to make sure that the 
origin of the bay doors are on the edge there. Should have just done 2.75, but... Oh, we want to solidify those. Two seconds to open them should be fine. Okay, that's the tank. Let's just hide that for now. 120 degrees. Oops, wrong one. Okay, and then we have to make the interior of the bay. Hmm. Do I want to do it this way? Well, I guess. SC0 to get it all at the same level. And that's our cargo bay. We have to key the bay door thing so I didn't finish that. Okay. What am I forgetting? <laughs> Before I finalize the booleans that cut things out. Okay, I guess we're going to commit to things. Ooh, that's really stretching to the edge there. Oh, oh well that's the door, right. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got a bad one. Uh, this... This, uh... thing, Polygon, is messing it up. No, oh, it's still doing that. Okay, that's better. Still, there's a weird bit here. Hmm, that one's a little bit iffy. Clearance-wise, um, I think we're just going to extend this bit down rather than try and move it up, because it's not got enough room. So the body flap better not tilt too much. Okay, well, let's look at this bit for a sec. We already applied that. Ah, uh, see, it's messy edge. Okay, these can just be merged. Oh, this has all those booleans there too? No, we don't need you to have all those booleans. There. Now they're sort of visible as little flaps. 
Next step will be separating everything for texturing, I think. But there's also uh, colliders. Let's let's do colliders. 